All right, well, hello again. So, uh, I wasn't, uh, Dad and I weren't complete useless idiots. During the week, we did a little bit of something. Um, the stand for our shrinker stretcher set uh, showed up, so we put that together. Still have the uh, jaw set for this uh, stretcher. Uh, it's at down in Blaine now, so I just have to go pick it up. Um, the shrinker is, uh, it's fine, but needed new jaws for that one. And uh, so I got them ordered and they came in. I just haven't gone down to get them. I'll go sometime early next week. Uh, so anyways, that's that all ready to go. So I can, uh, I can uh, form all the curves there and all the windows and, uh, well, everywhere I need it. Anyways, and also, when I have uh, start uh, using this thing, I'll for a lot of people they've used these before and they know what they're all about, but uh, for the ones that haven't, I'll show how it works and all that fun stuff. Um, this uh, stand will make it a lot easier. You can use your foot to, to operate it. Um, when I was building cars, we, we didn't have this, so uh, basically we just mounted in the in the bench on the bench over there and it just had a handle that came out of here and you know when you did it by hand that was kind of awkward because you're trying to you operate the handle on one side and, or with uh, one hand and feed the material through with the other and so it was a bit of a pain but this will make it a lot easier we ended up uh, before basically using two guys one guy running the handle and one, one guy operating it and it was a bit of a bit of a pain because you have to uh, you know vary the amount of pressure you use and it's hard to to uh, communicate that to somebody else how much pressure you want and all that kind of stuff so anyways this will make it a lot easier and uh, anyway yeah and during the week I cut and fit the other uh, end and also the top really the greatest view of this but there's the piece on the top here uh, just it's all this this all stuff's all just sitting here. It's all cut to size and everything. So this weekend I'm going to uh, try and get this all finished up. Seals in. This all sealed down, and I'm gonna pop this piece off and this one on the end here. Put sealant in behind them. Put them back together, and then uh, and then start on these um, these pieces here. And I think what I'm gonna do. Kind of hard to see here, but the inside edge. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll go up inside. Hang on. Well, not so easy to see in here either, but anyways, I'll try and maybe I'll just have to try and explain it. So the outside edge over in there will just be flat, but I'm thinking the inside edge here, this here. I'm going to put a bit of a crown into it. Well, it already has a bit of a crown in it, but anyways, so that's because, and then that'll that'll uh, crown it on the inside edge. So when the slide out's all the way out, uh, this inside edge have a bit of a crown to it, and that the water will tend to when it's raining or whatever. The uh, water will tend to run to the outside and into the corner so the, so rather than having it flat and the, the, the uh, water just pool there it'll run to the outside and then then off the outside corners of the slide out at least that's my theory anyways we'll see how well that works but that's what I'm thinking anyhow so anyways the uh, I'm gonna pull these all off of here now clean up and finish the metal and uh, Put everything back together and and uh, seal you know put the sealant on it and, and all that kind of stuff so that's what I'm up to for the next little bit then I once I have the you know, I get those pieces uh, from, down, from down in Blaine there for that shrinker stretcher then I'll I'll uh, do the seal surface that matches that so that has to go right along here and um, so I'll uh, to bend the material for that. So once I have the that uh, stretcher uh, jaws, then I can do that. 
So yesterday I got the top and one end sealed up and all riveted together. Seals are on on all three sides. Probably can't see that in here, but on this, but anyway, seals are all in. Just have to do the bottom yet. This piece on this end and it's all ready to go. I'm just going to knock it out there. Just pop it out of there now. Seal it up and rivet it in. That's what I did yesterday. Today is Sunday morning, so I only have a, a little bit of time today to work on it, but get as much as I can done. Pops is over here putting the weed whacker back together. It's all seized up. Took it all apart, cleaned it up, got the motor working. Now I'm just putting it back together again. Did some more adjusting on the uh, slide out here. Got it fitting a little bit better. Just keep working away at it and adjusting here and there and get it so it all fits really well. So anyways, it's uh, I think it's pretty close there now. I don't think I can get it much better than that. So, anyways, continue on here. So just as a side note here, I've been putting these seals in ahead of time and then sliding the, the skin in here after the seals in seems like it's a lot easier to uh, you know to put them in ahead of time if a guy ever has to change these with the skin on it I'm sure they'll sure I'll figure out a way to do it but it ain't going to be easy obviously you must there must be some way of doing it but but it won't be a, a simple chore but hopefully hopefully these things will last a long time and I don't have to worry about it but anyways, so that's what I've been doing is putting the seals in and then putting the skin on. All right, so I got the everything done on the outside. There's the seal on the inside. I don't have any, uh, I don't have the seal, the, the uh, angle on here yet for the seal to come up against this bulb. But uh, it's all... All in there on the three sides. Still haven't, you know, like I say, I haven't got the bottom done yet, but the the uh, top and both sides are. Slide goes in and out really nice. But uh, you know, sometimes I can't uh, believe my own stupidity. I got it all done and went to give it a. Give it a try and I forgot to run it in and out and and uh, so I ran it all the way out and ran it back in again and it uh, hung up on uh, I went and left a ball peen hammer up on the top so yeah when I brought it back in again it got hung up on the between the, the lip and the bus and got it all jammed in there and munged up the, the seal Put a dent in the the aluminum here. You can't see it because it's right underneath the right underneath the uh, this um, or while well, it's under this uh, um, cross brace here. But uh, anyways, yeah, nice. Anyway, it's not the end of the world. It's it's a dent in the aluminum on the top. Nobody will ever see it. But put a little mark in the seal on the outside. But it'll be all right. But just pissed me off <laughs> yeah I don't mind when you know things go sideways but when it's just a from a just stupidity it drives me nuts but anyways my own stupidity so it is what it is anyways I got the slide out all the way out here right now I'll go on to the outside here so I've had this in and out countless times you know, sitting out like that, but you don't really realize how wide that slide out is until you put a skin on it. Or at least it was uh, 
surprise me anyways you look at this side and that looks to me anyhow it looks uh, <laughs> like a sticks away out there and this one here no skin on it yet it doesn't look like it sticks out so far but they're both exactly the same both 36 inches so I guess when you put the skin on it, it makes it uh, makes it more obvious anyways well, I have this seal surface here on the bottom to do yet so that'll be I'll try and work away on that uh, during the week and then I gotta go ahead and coat all this down here as well so anyways coming along I've given myself a goal of having all the slide outs done by the end of May eh. hopefully that's a achievable goal usually when I do that to myself I don't get it done but I'm gonna try anyways anyways that's it for now